Hey guys, Jacoby here today. I'm back with another review. This time on the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Peter B. Parker, and I'm really happy to have these figures. I only have Prowler and Peter, but hopefully we will have Miles and Gwen in the near future. But for now, like I said, I only have these two. I will have a review up for Prowler in the near future. And uh, hopefully we will also have Gwen and Miles, hopefully sometime soon. Before I get into the figure itself, I will get into the box packaging really quick. So let's move the figure aside and look at the box really quick. So here we have the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse logo. Uh, you know, obviously it's the same one from the movie. Looks great. Love that logo. Got the Peter B. Parker thing down here. Got another Spider-Verse symbol up there. Stilt Man build a figure. I don't have any intention of building this so you know i i'll just quickly go through its uh its build a figure part and then we have the art for peter b parker looks great got another spider verse logo down here really nice and then got the other figures like i said i don't have him or her i do have these two don't have any intention on getting either of these or this one and then in the same picture up here for Peter B. Parker. Looks really cool. And then we got the bio here. Just pause it here if you like to read it. Sorry, it's sideways. And then we got the Peter B. Parker name up here once again. Marvel Legends logo. Same picture of Peter and nothing much at the bottom. And that's about it. So yeah, let's get into the figure. So here's the figure and the accessories he does not come packaged with. He comes with a bunch, I would say. He comes with this little milkshake thing. It looks really cool. I uh, got the blue and yellow stripes. It looks really nice. Sorry if it's hard to see. It's just really tiny, but yeah, there it is. It looks great. It's the same one he drank from the movie, so it's really cool. I really like the little detail on the straw, though. That, that's awesome. Uh, the Like the bendy part. They, they decided to add that. That's cool. And then, uh, you know, just the amount of detail on this. There's not much detail, but the fact that they just put that little bendy part, that's cool to me. I don't know why, but it's a great addition. The blue paint did kind of miss on this one. It's a, that's kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. It looks great anyway. It's a very minor part. Yeah, there's a little bit of dents in there. I don't know if that's uh, intentional, but I have dents in my cup. That's cool. <laughs> and then he comes with this alternate head. Comes with a masked, masked Peter Parker head. Sorry. Um, looks great. Same head, obviously. It, he does not come with a fully masked head, which is kind of um, unfortunate. But yeah, here is the half-masked head. Looks great. Spider-Man thing up there i will do a head swap later but yeah it looks great really good detail on these they did perfect on these and then he comes with some other hands he comes with two pairs of these just going to show off these two because they're pretty much the exact same no detail no paint detail on them just kind of sculpting they're just generic spider-man hands at this point but yeah they look cool and then his build a figure part is stilt man's head once again i have no intention of building this so we pro we'll, we'll probably just sell it or something but yeah here it is Looks cool, I guess. Just silver paint. Um, got the skin tone. Got the eyes. Kind of reminds me of Batman since I know nothing of Stilt Man, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Once again, no intention of building it, so I'm not going to go into any detail. But yeah, so here's the Peter B. Parker figure. It looks great. It looks just like how we did in the movie. I think they did really awesome with this. Uh, it's perfect, pretty much. But um, thing is, I would have really liked a um, fully suited Spider-Man and a fully suited Miles Morales. I mean, the the designs are awesome as well, but, you know, it would be cool to have those also. But knowing Hasbro is Hasbro, they'll probably release a two-pack of Peter B. Parker and Miles at some point with the fully suits instead of, like, their their original designs for the movie. But these are cool as well. I, I really like this. Um, it would just be cool to do that. Probably do that in the near future, to be honest. But we'll just see. We'll just have to wait and see. But, yeah, these look great. Face sculpt is awesome. Let's get into that really quick. Yeah, here it is. Got the hair sculpt. Hair sculpt looks great. Paint looks great. No mess ups as I could tell so far, but it looks really nice. Got the shadowy beard. I forgot what you guys call that, like four o'clock shadow, something like that. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. I think this is a face scan. Somehow they did a face scan of, a, of an animated character, but I don't know if it is, but it just kind of looks like it, but it looks really good. Um, it just looks really cool. You know, it looks just like Peter B. Parker. Let me pull up the box once again really quick. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this, <laughs> but yeah, here it is. You got the faces together. They, it just, it looks just like them. It's perfect. It's really great. No complaints there whatsoever. Um, my only real complaint about this figure, though, is when he comes out of the packaging, I have heard from multiple other people, along with myself, that um, the joints are super stiff on this one, and I had to put his legs in hot water to be able to move his knees, and, you know, just warning you, you should probably do that if yours is really stiff. It was, like, really hard, and I felt like I was going to break it, but 
once again, you could just put it in hot water or a hair dryer. It'll fix it. So yeah, just don't force it. If it's frozen, you might break it, but you know, you do you. Um, but yeah, here we have his body. I put his posture like this just because it makes him look fat like I did in the movie. So that's kind of cool that they did this. Uh, I really like this um, joint system that they have going on here. I think Japanese import figures do that. And that's kind of cool that Hasbro decided to do that. I'm pretty sure Miles does that as well. But yeah, so yeah, we got the jacket. It looks great. Got the green jacket, silver zippers, really nice paint detail there. Got the golden buttons, which are cool too. They're pretty clean clean but there is just a little bit of mess up just the tiniest bit though um i only noticed that one recording so it's not it's not major and there's no other paint on this um other than the buttons and the zippers makes sense though in the movie he only had the green and also i think that his um his elbow joints here um are a different shade of green which is a really nice touch i did not notice that until now um at least it looks like it in the camera. I, I really don't know, but the elbows are a different color, it looks like. And that's a really cool touch. It's like a more desaturated green. I think that's how it was in the movie. I would think so because, you know, el elbow patches or something. I don't know. But that looks cool. I like that. I like that addition. Great attention to detail there. And then we got the Spider-Man body here. Looks great. Once again, clean paint. A little bit of blue missing on the top portion where it's supposed to be, but that's okay. Um, otherwise, it's all good. Let me just take the jacket off. You can take this off, but obviously the arms will stay the same, so you can't really have a full Spider-Man body. Well, once again, you can do this, which is a really cool addition. I like that. Hopefully, they keep going with that, but yeah, there are a little bit of paint mess-ups online. They don't they don't paint the back, obviously, because you're not going to see it unless you take your jacket off, but yeah, I feel like they will make a full... Um, Spider-Man, Peter B. Parker at some point, because they did decide to sculpt the back knowing that this would be covering it. Or maybe it's just a really good attention to detail, but who knows? They probably will, knowing that Hasbro's Hasbro, like I said, but yeah. Got a little bit of blue up here. That's okay, though. It's not. You can't see it with the jacket on, so I guess it's an okay paint mishap. A uh, little bit of blue missing over here. It looks like f somehow the paint, the blue that was supposed to go here ended up here, but that's okay, I guess. You can't really see that. Got the blue on his lower torso here. No Spider-Man logo painted, but there is one sculpted there. So, you know, I th obviously they have the intention of showing the back off. So, like I said, they will definitely make a, um, a fully suited Peter P. Parker. But, yeah, I'll keep the jacket off for now because I will have to do articulation at some point. So, I will take it off for now. And then we got the sweatpants. They look great. No paint on them. Just got the the code there no paint on it but really good sculpting overall and then got the two different shoes that's really cool got the boots really good attention to detail on the boots once again this figure is just full of detail it's great and then got the other little shoes i don't know what these are but they look cool got the two different shoes it's movie accurate really nice so yeah uh i will go into the head swaps and the articulation now Here's Peter with the swapped heads and hands. I decided to do it off camera just so it's quicker, but yeah, here it is. It looks great. I decided to put the jacket on just to complete the look. It looks really awesome. Uh, it looks. I just really like this figure. It's just an awesome design. I love it. Love the movie. Love the characters. So it's just awesome to have figures, and then finally, like two years later, I think. I don't even know if it's been two years, but yeah, the head looks great on the body. The hands look great as well. And obviously, you could put it in the Spider-Man pose, but yeah. I don't have him slouching anymore because you know, Spider-Man, heroic. I'm not supposed to be slouching, but yeah, he looks great. The face sculpt, the expression on it is just so cool. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll do the articulation with these parts on. I'll do another one with uh, these hands. But yeah, for now, we'll do these, and then I'll take the jacket off later to show you guys the true articulation of his body. Yeah, let's get into the articulation real quick. His head can go down this much and can go back this much. Really nice. You could do the 360, obviously. His arms can go around, go up this much. Got the bicep swivel, got the double jointed elbows, uh, wrist rotation, wrist hinge. I'm, I'm sure it'll be the same for these hands, so I don't even know if I will go over them, but I'm sure it's the same. Uh, his body with the jacket on can do the diaphragm joint, obviously. Diaphragm joint can uh, go forward this much. Can't really go back at all because of the jacket, but. um. And then the lower diaphragm joint, I don't know what to call this joint because this is my first time having a figure like this, but 
I, I'll call it the lower diaphragm joint for now, but that it, it can't really move either because the jacket's pretty tough to move because of how stiff the jacket is, but I'll show it off without the jacket later, uh, right after this, but yeah, his leg can kick out this much, can go back this much, got the thigh rotation, uh, double jointed knees, once again, these were the hardest part on my figure, so warm them up just so you don't break them, but yeah, double jointed knees here, got the uh, little rotation here, I don't know what to call that, but yeah, got the rotation there. His toes can point down this much, can go up this much on the sneaker foot, and has the ankle pivot, so that's cool. Same thing here, has a rotation on the boot, and then the boot actually does have um, ankle to pivot, can go down not too much because of this part here, and cannot really go up much either because of this part here once again. So this part does hinder it unless I'm just not pushing it hard enough. It does feel like I'll break it. So yeah, it can move a little bit, but not nearly as much as the other foot. So yeah, there's a little bit of hindrance there. And then let's take off the jacket really quick. Got the diaphragm joint, like I said, can move it all around. That's cool. Got, can go back this much, can go forward this much. And then the lower diaphragm joint can pretty much go wherever you feel like. Can go back this much, go forward this much, side to side as well. It's really cool. But yeah, that's all the articulation of this figure. So this is my review on the Marvel Legends Peter B. Parker from the Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah, look, okay. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this was my review on Peter B. Parker. Hopefully I covered everything you wanted me to in this review. This is my first time doing a review in two months. Uh, I was supposed to do Venom a while ago, but I just lazy it out on it. I was supposed to do something different, but it just didn't work out when I didn't feel like making the actual review. So yeah, this is my first review in two months. Hopefully I didn't do too bad. So yeah, hopefully I covered everything you wanted me to. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.